Trump accuses Russia of helping North Korea evade sanctions. Says U.S. needs more missile defense. U.S. President Donald Trump complained on Wednesday that Russia was helping North Korea to evade international sanctions, signaling frustration with the country he had hoped to forge friendly relations with after his 2016 election win, App reports quoting Reuters. Russia is not helping us at all with North Korea, Trump said during an Oval Office interview with Reuters. What China is helping us with, Russia is denting. In other words, Russia is making up for some of what China is doing. China and Russia both signed on to the latest rounds of United Nations Security Council sanctions against North Korea imposed last year. There was no immediate comment from the Russian embassy in Washington on Trump's remarks. During a 53-minute interview with a fresh Diet Coke near at hand on his desk, Trump also said he was considering a big fine as part of an investigation into China's alleged theft of intellectual property, that he has lost all trust in the chief Democratic Party negotiator on immigration in the Senate, and declined to clear up conflicting reports about his use of the phrase with all countries in a White House meeting, which caused an international outcry. With North Korea persisting as the major global challenge facing Trump this year, the president cast doubt on whether talks with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un would be useful. In the past he has not ruled out direct talks with Kim. I do sit down, but I am not sure that sitting down will solve the problem, he said, noting that past negotiations with the North Koreans by his predecessors had failed to rein in North Korea's nuclear and missile programs. He blamed his three immediate predecessors, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush and Barack Obama, for failing to resolve the crisis and, a day after his doctor gave him a perfect score on a cognitive test, suggested he had the mental acuity to solve it. I guess they all realized they were going to have to leave it to a president that scored the highest on tests, he joked. He declined to comment when asked whether he had engaged in any communications at all with Kim, with whom he has exchanged public insults and threats, heightening tensions in the region. Trump said he hoped the standoff with Pyongyang could be resolved in a peaceful way, but it is very possible that it can tee. Asked whether he thought the United States needs more missile defense systems, he 